Hey, what are you doing down here? I've got a little uh, maintenance company. Uh, about four years ago, I got my light sport uh, maintenance license in California. Uh, just to kind of work on the plane, I own a Sting Sport, and it was really just to learn more about the aircraft. And came back, and I was asked if I could help out with the flight school here, Sky Raider Aviation. And I said, sure. And um, it, it, it's become a business. Uh, after uh, uh, 30 months of uh, doing this light sport work, uh, I went ahead and got my AMP even just a few weeks ago. So now I'm a licensed AMP mechanic and a light sport mechanic. So you, you started in light sport and you progressed up into the conventional stuff and now you're able to do both. Exactly. I don't know if a lot of people know about that, that you can, you know, you don't have to work under an AMP. But if you're a light sport mechanic, after 30 months of continuous work, you can actually get the uh, get the okay from your local FISDO to, to go ahead and take the test. So it, it's a really neat opportunity for people. Now, what is it that you're doing? Like, are you doing Rotax engine repair? Are you doing aircraft repair? What is it you've been doing? Pretty much everything. Okay, like right now we're replacing a TBO'd engine, a Rotax 912S. Uh, <clears throat> on one of our flight training planes and I'm actually replacing the whole engine and I've done that a couple of times and uh, other than that we do the typical oil changes, uh, upgrades, everything that's you know necessary for a flight school and I also do other work. I do work for individuals with their own, own planes. Now when you're looking at this thing, are you involved with the factory and selling their airplanes and servicing their airplanes in the area? Uh, yes, uh, the Sting Sport. Uh, I, I'm a salesman for for the for the company. So you work with uh, Bill Canino? Bill Canino, yes, yes, uh, great guy. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I sell in this area. So uh, uh, that, that, that's the. Uh, now are you working towards going uh, doing any flight training? That type of thing. You know, I I got I. When I had took the test, written test, and uh, but I never finished up. But that would be something I'd like to do in the future. I've got kids, and I'd love to be able to, to train them. And so that that could be something in the future. But right now, I'm 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 inundated. I, I've got so much work. I know it's hard to believe in the light sport business, but it's uh, it's it's even in an economy like this, I'm staying plenty busy. So. I also noticed that you've got something to do with uh, Jim Lee's uh, motor glide. Yeah, Jim. Uh, I. I'm a glider pilot. That's first. Uh, I first got my glider license before I got my power license. So I've always loved them, and uh, and I ran into Jim. I forgot when a couple of years ago, and um, I actually I flew down to Texas to meet him, and uh, he had his motor glider and went for a flight. And it was just a, the greatest, one of the greatest flights I've ever had. So uh, uh, we got to be real good friends. And I'm just helping him out. He's he's the salesman. He's the sole salesman of that plane. But I, any chance I get, I I, I lend him a hand. So. So if somebody wanted to get in touch with you for some maintenance, uh, that type of thing, now where would they go? Uh, well, Aerovations Unlimited is the name of my company. Uh, I work out of Erie, Colorado. Uh, and my phone number is 303-587-0174. Thank you, Roger. Thank you.